Hello and welcome to Small Gold's American Gold Eagle sales update for the month of January 2017. So, American Gold Eagle sales remain elevated to start 2017. The U.S. Mint sold 86,501 ounce American Gold Eagles in January. And the total number of American Gold Eagles sold in January, including those one-tenth, one-quarter, one-half, and one-ounce coins was 266,500. And the total ounces attributable to all American Gold Eagle coins sold in January was 117,500. The silver to gold sales ratio was 59.27 to 1, which means that the U.S. Mint sold almost 60 times as many American silver eagles as it did one ounce American gold eagles. We've got some charts below. We're going to go through the silver to gold sales ratio and also through the gold silver ratio. You'll see some interesting trends there. Premiums on American gold eagles fell in January as they generally do as the mint begins to ramp up and ship out the latest batch of American Gold Eagles. We've got a chart on that for you as well. Now, if you're interested in buying American Gold Eagles in any of the sizes, the one-tenth, one-quarter, one-half, or one-ounce sizes, you can do so through the Small Gold site or through the links below this YouTube video. Small Gold gets a small commission. That's how we fund the site if you do purchase, but you pay no more, no less than if you visited the sites directly. And the advantage of Small Gold is you can compare between four and five different bullion dealers you can compare their pricing and shipping and get your metal that way so for those of you who do remember to purchase your gold and silver through small gold thank you very much and also those of you who donate bitcoin or via paypal uh, i appreciate that as well so thank you very much so the u.s mint sales in january they were good they weren't outstanding but they were one of the better januaries i think they were the eighth best january we'll see a chart on that uh, they were slightly lower than last January, but last January was a very good January as well. So as I mentioned, uh, the U.S. Mint sold 266,000 coins of all different sizes. That was 117,500 ounces. Last year, the U.S. Mint sold nearly 300,000 total coins in the different sizes for 124,000 ounces. So, but remember, January... Well, not January, but 2016 was the best year for sales since 2010. So the January sales in 2017 were pretty much in line with the very good sales in 2016, January 2016. The best January ever, though, was in 1999 when the U.S. Mint sold 208,500 one-ounce American Gold Eagle coins and a total of 701,500 American Gold Eagle coins in all different sizes. That totaled 281,000 ounces. There were people preparing for Y2K, for those old enough to remember. There was a concern that the computers would not switch over and there would be chaos in the streets and in your house and <laughs> a lot of things would fail and the idea was you needed to have gold let's take a look at the january sales of a one ounce american gold eagle coins here you can see there's your eighty six thousand five hundred. there's last month last year at eighty nine thousand. your big years in 2011 2012 you've got the 130,000 but there's your big year 1999 but notice in the year 2000 in January when, when the disaster did not strike and the computers flipped over without a hitch then it doesn't look like they sold much gold in January 2000 interesting that's already history it seems like yesterday some information on the American Gold Eagle coin. It is a 22 karat coin, not a 24 karat coin. You still get an ounce of gold. It's just that the coin is slightly larger because it's got a bit of silver and a bit of copper in it. So it's slightly different tinge to it than a 24 karat gold, which is 99.999% uh, gold. This one is just 91 67 gold, but it's still an ounce of gold. And it is probably the most widely uh, recognized coin up there with the Krugerrand. I think they've sold over well over 50 million of these coins since they started making them in 1986. There's some of your banners you can click on to purchase 
American gold eagle coins. A lot of people shy away from gold. They say, well, you can't buy much with it. And, um, you know, you could buy a tenth ounce of gold, and that costs you about uh, $130, $140 at current prices. But most people think that the bargain is to buy $100 worth of silver instead of 100 some odd dollars worth of gold. But we'll see why that's not necessarily... This is an investment advice. I'm just going to show you some charts that, that may not necessarily be the case. I know silver is a big favorite amongst um, retail investors and has been. That seems to be shifting, and we'll see some charts on maybe why that is. Here is the American Gold Eagle Mint. By the way, you can see these charts a lot better if you go to the website. They're hard to see on the, uh, on the YouTube, but... If you go to the website, I'll put a link below the YouTube. You can check them out. You can see the charts better. Last year was a good year. You can see it was one of the best years since 2011, 817,000. There's your uh, Y2K period where both years they sold over 1.5 million one ounce American Gold Eagle coins. The first year there was a lot of interest just because there hadn't been a U.S. minted coin since 1933. So they sold 1.3 million the first year and then they kind of lost interest and you could see the financial crisis drove the interest back up and then as the financial crisis looked like it waned the sales went down that's those are the peak years for silver sales at the u.s mint well, we've already seen that you can check out that youtube video just go a couple back you'll see american silver eagle sales for january and also in that blog post and on that youtube video you can see the charts for american eagle sales from 86 to 2017 now, American Gold Eagle premiums, they're less of an issue as they are with American Silver Eagles, but it does come into play. One of the things I've noticed, and it's it's well worth noting too, if you're going to buy um, Gold Eagles, is the premiums on the coins tend to rise towards the end of the year as the mint slows down its production and the dealers come close to running out. So they charge a little more towards the end of the year. You can see how they especially here, there's a chart here that shows in December. See that period from November, December, they go up? That seems to happen every year. You look over here, same thing, November, December, they go up. That just reflects the kind of retail shortage, not necessarily shortage, but they're a little light on inventory because the mint stops making gold eagles towards the end of the year. There's probably a couple of weeks where they're not making and distributing gold eagles to um, authorized purchasers, which means they're not getting to the retail dealers. And the premiums go up, but then once they come out with the latest edition coin, the the new coin, the price the the price the premiums go down. You can see there, and then up here, here you go again, same thing. So you got that January effect, boom, premium goes down. January, boom, premium goes down. Now, it's not that significant, but I guess if you're going to buy an ounce of gold, it's somewhat significant because you know one percent premium on the uh, over a thousand dollars, you know, plus the shipping, it could end up being fifteen, twenty dollars extra for the same coin if you buy. If you wait until January to buy, that's all things considered equal, by the way. Um, versus buying at the very end of the year, so that's just a looks like a trend that may not happen again in the future, but it seems to be that's what happens. The premiums go up, and then now, if you're interested in premiums, there is a just Google. Uh, American Gold and Silver Eagle premiums. I update the charts all the time there. You can see them and you can track them and you can see what's going on. The silver chart is more interesting because they tend to fluctuate more and that's because the price of silver is lower and the American Silver Eagle premiums already have built in a $2 dealer charge per coin. So that gets pretty substantial, especially the lower the price of the coin because $2 is a lot on a uh, $20 purchase and that's already built into the price and if the dealer then adds a dollar or two onto that you're talking a 20 percent premium pretty quickly okay now let's look at the um, silver to gold sales ratio as i mentioned something i like to watch gold tends to be the go-to metal in the crisis silver tends to be the metal that people buy when it's cheap uh, and that's what happened in 2013-14 you can see as the price dropped people bought more silver than gold even though gold dropped but silver dropped more and then as the price of silver rises and people start getting a little more concerned about the economy people buy less silver on a percentage basis than they do gold 
2014 was definitely a peak. The U.S. Mint sold 106 one ounce American silver eagles to every one American gold eagle, one ounce American gold eagle. I list here the month by month. I'm going to make this into a monthly chart so you can see it rather than by year. We'll track the year together. We'll put together the um, the gold silver to gold sales ratio by month, and then we can track it and see how it works out by month. Now, the gold-silver ratio. See, I remember a lot of the silver people, yeah, I'm one of them, but it, I never got that excited about this, is around 2012, you had a lot of silver mining executives and people running uh, silver uh, bullion companies and they were talking about silver shortages and the silver to gold the gold silver ratio was unsustainable and you know it was it was going to go down to 16 to 1 10 to 1 1 to 1 you're going to buy a house with a roll of, of eagles i don't know that's i like silver but it it, it kind of got out of hand and you see I think they pumped that story from here to here. And they've been talking about that for, for half a decade now. And while they're yakking, <laughs> the uh, the gold-silver ratio went all the way up to 83. They started talking about it when it was 40, 45. And, uh, you know, it's come down to 70. So uh, there's different. There's a reason why silver trades at a very high ratio to gold. And has, there's some things to do with scarcity, but... Silver is not a monetary metal for very wealthy people, and it's not a monetary metal for um, central banks. And that's where the big money is. So silver stackers, they view it as a monetary metal. But uh, any big amount of money, especially at this ratio, the storage costs are enormous. You have, it takes up 80 times, 70 times the space to store silver as it does uh, gold. So it's not a denigration of silver. It's just that there's reasons why silver is not. It's gonna. It's not only about rarity that silver is not at a 16 to one or a one to one or any any lower ratio. Now it'll probably go down. Um, the silver price generally ratchets up faster than gold when they both go up, and it slams down further when they both go down. But um, you can see here, uh, just, you know, people telling you constantly, silver's the better buy, silver's the better buy. Well, not the last five years it hasn't been. Uh, not even the last uh, year. I mean, since the middle of 2016, you're better off with, with gold. Again, past performance, not indicative of future results. And uh, I expect the ratio to go down a little bit more, but uh, I'm not one of these people who thinks it's going to... I'm not calling for shortages next week and and a gold silver ratio of one to one i think that about does it yeah that does it for um we have a lot coming up we have the perth mint sales report we have the indian gold and silver um imports numbers we have the american gold buffalo numbers to take care of we have more cia memoranda to look at on the gold market from the early 70s and early 80s tomorrow we have the in case you missed it we're going to be talking about trump's impact on the stock market and the gold market so please subscribe to small gold at smallgold.com you fill in your email address there and also subscribe to this channel and don't forget to purchase your gold and silver if you're so inclined and you've done your research and that's what you want to do through smallgold.com through the links below or on the website and also if you're so inclined please also contribute thank you very much